In this video, we're picking up on number 13 on the Using Distributive Property Worksheet for CUDA software, and I'll go ahead and leave a link below. Now for number 13, I'll go ahead and show you two different ways to do this, and you go ahead and use the method that you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to rewrite this as negative four times negative eight X plus a negative eight. Because remember, when you're subtracting a positive, that's the same as adding a negative. Let's go ahead and do the expression on the left-hand side first. With the distributive property, we're going to take this negative four and multiply it to the negative eight X. We're also going to take this negative four and multiply it to the positive eight, remembering to keep subtraction between the two terms. So negative four times negative eight X minus a negative four times a positive eight. Negative four times negative eight is going to be a positive 32 times X. So 32 X, and then we're going to have minus a negative four times eight, which is going to be a negative 32. Subtracting the negative is the same as adding a positive. So this is 32 X plus 32. Now I'm going to use the second expression, which has the same value as the first. We're going to take this negative four and multiply it to the negative eight X, but this time we have addition in between but I'm taking the negative four and multiplying it to a negative eight now, as opposed to a positive eight. So negative four times negative eight X plus negative four times negative eight. Negative four times negative eight X is a positive 32 X plus a negative times a negative is a positive. So we'll get a positive 32. So you can see either way arrives at the same conclusion, 32 X plus 32. Just remember whatever operation is in the middle, that's also in the middle between the two terms that you calculate. So subtraction or addition. Number 14, we're going to take this negative six, distribute it to the first term, and then distribute it to the second term with addition in between. So we have negative six, times seven plus negative six times X, which is just negative six X. Negative six times seven is going to be a negative 42 plus a negative six X. Remember that adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So we're at negative 42 minus six X. Number 15, we're distributing the negative three and we have subtraction in between. I'm not going to change this to addition like I did in a previous problem, number 13, but if you're more comfortable that way, please feel free. So I have negative three times X, so that's going to be negative three X minus a negative three times five. Negative three X, negative three times X is just negative three X minus a negative three times five is a negative 15. Subtracting a negative is adding a positive. So negative three X plus 15. Number 16, distributing the negative five. We have negative five times 10 X plus negative five times one. Negative five times 10 X is negative 50 X plus negative five times one is negative five. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting the positive. So negative 50 X minus a positive five. Number 17, distributing the five. So we have five times one plus five times two V. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2v, 5 times 2 is 10, times v is 10v. 5 plus 10v is a simplified expression in number 17. Number 18, negative 8 times the 1, and then we're subtracting negative 8 times 5x. 
So negative 8 times 1 is negative 8 minus negative 8 times 5x is going to be a negative 40x because a negative times positive is a negative. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So we have negative 8 plus 40x. For 19, we're distributing that negative 7. So we have negative 7 times 5k minus, because that's the operation between the two terms within the parentheses, so minus negative 7 times 4. Negative 7 times 5k is going to be a negative 35k, and that's minus a negative 28, because negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. Subtracting a negative, again, is the same as adding a positive. So we have a negative 35k plus a positive 28. For number 20, we're taking the negative 5 and distributing that to the 7a and the 6. So we have negative 5 times 7a minus negative 5 times 6. Negative 5 times 7a results in a negative 35a minus negative 5 times 6 is going to be a negative 30. When you subtract a negative, that's the same as adding the positive. Negative 35a plus a positive 30. Number 21, we're distributing the positive 5. 5 times n plus 5 times 6. 5 times n is simply 5n plus 5 times 6 is 30. So the answer to number 21 is 5n plus 30. 22, we're going to do 4 times 3r and then we're going to do 4 times 8. 4 times 3r minus since that's the operation used within the parentheses, 4 times 8. 4 times 3r will give us 12r minus 4 times 8 is going to be 32. So 12r minus 32 is the answer to number 22. Number 23, distributing the 3 to get 3 times 5 plus 3 times 5x. This is going to be 15 plus 15x. Number 24, we're distributing this negative 10. So we're multiplying negative 10 by 1 and then we're adding that to negative 10 times 9x. Negative 10 times 1 is negative 10 plus negative 10 times 9x is negative 10 times 9 which is negative 90 times x which is negative 90x. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting that positive. So we have negative 10 minus 90x as the last solution on this worksheet. Remember, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, comment below.